Hello, in this video I would like to show how to create an email in Email Studio and uh, actually send this email. So we're going to create an email for the promo code campaign and I'm already in the Email Studio in the tab content and I have my uh, template that I would like to use for our send is ready. You can also create one right here in the content tab in Email Studio or you can do this in Content Builder. This is how the canvas of creating an email is going to look like in Content Builder if you open it. So uh, in the first step, you normally define the name and the location for your template. Then you add content to your email. So you can simply drag and drop different content blocks to make your email beautiful. You can define subject and the pre-header. You can also personalize the email already. And if you're happy with the result, you can preview and test your email. So you can use Elias email to test how is it going to look like. You can also use Litmus to preview the email of how is it going to look like on different screens. And if you're happy with the result, you can press save and then you will be able to find this template in email studio so let's go back there so now i have my email ready and open here and i can press send in order to define the audience properties to whom i'm going to send it so in the first step i'm choosing a sending classification so from whom the email is going to be sent if everything's fine, I can uh, simply proceed with next. And here I need to choose what data extension I'm going to use for this campaign. So for this promo code campaign, I would like to send to a particular group of audience who has been active. And in order to do this, in order to segment the list of the people I'm going to send this campaign to, I'm going to use deselect segment. So in order to create this segment of audience, I'm going to navigate to deselect segments, which can be found under App Exchange, and then I'm redirected to this overview screen. From here, I'm creating a new selection. I'm starting with providing a name for the new selection. I'm going to call it promo code campaign. And what I would like to do is to find the data extension with the customers that I have and simply drag and drop this data extension to the right. Now, on the available fields, I would like to drag and drop the filter uh, to the filtering screen field ID and choose in results filter, which is basically a subquery in SQL. And here I would like to actually look for a data view open. So data views are system generated data extensions that contain various useful information about your email sends or about your subscribers. So I would like to find the uh, customers who have opened Open the email, I'm going to create a relationship between the ID of customers and the subscriber key in this data view and also press on this funnel button and I would like to filter a bit more on the exact customers who have opened the email and I'm using this function button and I would like to count number of subscriber key in the open and I would like to have the subscribers who have opened more than five of the emails and uh, I would also like to find out those who have done it in the last three months. This is why I'm entering this event date and press save. And now I can move on to my target definition. I'm going to create a new data extension with the criteria I have just selected. I'm going to call this uh, data extension promo code uh, campaign users. I'm going to choose if it is sendable and testable so that I can use it for the actual sense. You can also provide the retention policy and save it. And the fields that I would like to use, I can simply drag and drop. So I'm going to use ID, first name and email. And that's it that I would like to have in my targeted extension. I can save it and create a DE. Now move on to the last screen, which is a preview and press run preview. So the preview will generate the first 20 results from my target data extension. And if I'm satisfied with the results, I can just press save and run the selection. 
So now we see the results of my uh, selection, seeing 20 records out of 2,900 records in total. ID, first name and email, just as I wanted. So now I can run this selection and uh, results will be populated in the target data extension and I can use it for my email. So now we can come back to the email studio and actually send the campaign now to the segmented audience so we can find this data extension we have just created using deselect segment and we can drag and drop it to the targeted list press select we can also exclude or suppress the data extension with the emails that we would like not to send this email to and press if we want to do duplicate subscribers now press on next here we can configure the delivery if you want to send it now or schedule it and uh, then we can proceed on next. Here we define our last touches before sending our email. If everything is good to go, then we have to tick on this box and then press on send and the email campaign is going to be sent. And that's it. This is how you can create and send an email using Email Studio and Salesforce Marketing Cloud and also how you can segment your audience using a no-code segmentation solution deselect segment if you like this video make sure to subscribe to our channel also please subscribe to our newsletter to receive sfmc best practices and deselect updates and uh, we hope you like this video thank you for watching and bye